Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode number 3 of the sporting career mode here on FIFA 21 and today we are going to continue our journey we are going to start Liga Noche but first I was here just advancing the calendar and I received a transfer offer from Luis Philippe so right away let's just see what can we do here with this transfer offer Eintracht Frankfurt are offering 6 million and uh, I think we can go until 7 million and the uh, wish flip has a release clause of 10 million so let's see what can we do of course I don't know if I'm going to play him or not so yeah we, we, we might as well just try to sell him on the winter transfer so yeah let's see what can we do here with his offer let's see the players that I tracked Frankfurt as so I mean, they have Bas Dost, the, the former striker from Sporting, and they have Andre Silva, but of course Andre Silva is not going to be possible because of his value. But who knows, maybe Bas Dost can return to Sporting. Can we do that, maybe? I don't know, let's try to do that. Bas Dost and uh, let me see the transfer fee, of course it's not going to be the same. I don't need any money. Yeah, let's try to do that. So Bas Dost for Luis Philippe, can they do that? I mean, if they want to hire a striker, why not just take another striker in change? Because why not? And of course, yep, it's not, they're going away. Brilliant. Of course, Bas Dost is much expensive than Luis Philippe, but still they could manage to try to do something, but they, they didn't, so okay. Let's continue. We have another training day and this time I already did the training so I can just simulate all. So we have these grades and yeah, our team is looking very good in terms of sharpness, at least the, the 11 that are going to start on our team. And yeah, the, the game for Liga Nos, the first one, is approaching very fast, so yeah. And so guys, here we have a scout report from a guy that uh, it was on uh, our shortlist, David Ocarere. And I mean, 72 overall, 22 years of age, it's not that bad and of course he has the base for it. But the rest of the stats are not that great really. He has some ball control, some dribbling, finishing as well, but the rest are not that great, so I don't know. But yeah, let me know in the comments if, um, if you want to... Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see any signings in particular, like tell me in the comments what players should I sign and take in mind that I want something realistic, like I'm not I'm not going for a Mbappe or a Ronaldo, nothing like that really, I'm going for guys that realistically can go to sporting, so yeah, if you want, tell me in the comments. And so we have another transfer offer from Luis Flip, this time from Olympique Marseille. And again, it is six millions. Let's see what can I do. Of course, I'm going to negotiate and see what can I do really. So let's propose them. Uh, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Can eight million be enough? Thank, uh, please don't go away. Okay, seven million. So yeah, I'm going to accept seven million for wish for leave. That's the best I can do, of course. And yep, if he wants to go on the winter transfer, the wish flip is gone from the team. And so, it is the 1st of August, let's see the monthly scouting report that we have. Let's see, and oh my god, let's go! Fabio Moreira, 700,000 of value, 79 to 94 potential, this guy could be a banger, so let's just sign him right away. Another one, a Fos Machado, 81 to 94. And the values is 975,000. Oh my god, this guy's a beast. We found the next beast, really. Afonso Machado, I don't know what position will you play, but my god, thank you. And now these Afonso Lins, not the best. Kleber Ramos, again, not the best. I'm just going to leave you here for now, but oh my god, now let's see. Fabio Moreira 79 to 94 just 56 overall so we cannot use him right away and Alfonso Machado 58 overall 81 to 94 this guy is a beast CDM I'm sorry CM and Cam so he can play in the middle and he has some uh, physical attributes and some pace so yeah 
I don't know if he's going to be a CM or not because he has the base, but we'll see. My god, what a guy! 5 star skill move, 5 star weak foot. We hit the jackpot with this one. And here, Florent Eminescu has already changed the potential a little bit. Yeah, I need to put them on development plans because this is not right on balance. I need to do something with him. And what can I do here? Of course, he has the pace already. But the passing and the shooting, I want to get him a little bit better. So yeah, white playmaker maybe. For Eminescu. Let's see now here, more guys. Afonso Machado, we're going to put him on what development plan? Let's see, passing of course, I need to improve his passing a lot. And uh, for now he's going to put just on passing. And uh, yep, yeah, let's go now into the next one. Louis Watson, just 79 potential, not the best one. So maybe I'm going to put you on a plan as well, but I'm not going to use you maybe, but yeah. Let's see now, you are a CM. You are a CM, the passing and the drilling for sure, so yeah, why not? Let's go with center midfield. Fabio Ureira, this one again. Let's see what can I do with him. You are a left mid. And maybe I can put you on the on right, or I'm sorry, on the left wing, but you, are, you don't have the pace yet, so maybe let's just change this a little bit. And yeah, I'm going to use support midfielder. You can increase the pace, the passing and the dribbling, yeah, let's go with that. And uh, Tomohiko Fujiwara, I'm sorry, but you are you're going away because you're not good for me. And I really don't want you here. And maybe Burak Batur from Turkey as well, maybe I will let you go because you're not good enough, mate, I'm sorry. But it is what it is. You're going away. Now this one, Machado, Afonso Machado, will I bring you already and put you on a loan, maybe? The same with Fabio Moreira, I don't know, for now I'm just going to leave you here. But yeah, that is a very good guy that we just found, really. And so guys, Luis Flip had just been sold by 7 million euros to Olympiac Marseille and we have 5 million to our budget, so yeah, more money to us and Luis Flip is gone on the transfer window in January so yeah now let's do the last training session before the first game of the Liga Noz and I'm going to change here the the squad that I'm using because I was using the bench squad just to get them on the best sharpness possible but of course I'm going to use now my my 11 startup because they need to get on the best sharpness possible and the, the fitness as well so yeah here we go now against Vitória de Guimarães and we have a press conference, the first one, this is the first the press conference that I'm doing on FIFA, I never done this one before. So let's see how it's going to be. Sporting, I would like a real deal in pre-season. Supporters have been getting pretty excited about the team's prospect. Can you carry your pre-season form into competitive games now? I'm about putting in the work, I've been impressed. Let's just win games. I've about it's about putting in the work. Yeah, that's make him happy, of course. Let's go into the next one. Can your boys challenge for the titles? I mean, that's what we're here for. So we are always believes we can win. So yeah, there we go. We are challengers ourselves for the title this this season, and that's what I want. So yeah. Are you looking to bring anyone in? Of course, the transfer window uh, is uh, closed, so I cannot bring um, anybody else right now. So I'm happy about this group. Yep. And there we go. This is the first press conference that I've done, and it's very easy, of course. Let's see now on the office what we have player chats. Eduardo Quaresma, I've been pre. I've been playing pretty well lately. I'm feeling really good. Hope that means you just won't be on the bench. Hmm. Will I play you, Eduardo? Will I play you? I'll think about it. Yeah, why not? Daniel Bregan said the same thing. I want to be involved in the game. I might go with a... I like to see you anger. I want to see... Oh my god, I cannot speak. Damn it. I like to see that Angarina player, yeah, that could be. So yeah, 
Let's go into the game, the first one, and of course I'm going to put these guys on the starting lineup, so why not? Let's change here, Fedal with Eduard Quaresma and uh, Pedro Gonçalves, I guess you're going for the right wing and uh, Daniel Bragança can enter, but you don't do right wing, but you do right mid, right? Yes, you do, thank you, so yeah, let's put these guys on left mid and right mid, Daniel Bragança is going to be on the game and I think this is it, maybe Jovan Cabral instead of Spora, let's try this one tonight and see what can we do here with uh, with Jovan instead of uh, Sporar, why not? And you are center forward, a cam, center mid and center defensive midfield, that is what I want. And here we are guys, the first game of Liga Nos is underway, Vitor Guimarães starts with the ball and uh, we are playing at uh, the stadium of Guimarães, so yeah we are away. But let's see now what can we do. Guimarães is on the attack, but very well done. Sporting recovers the ball. Come on now, counter attack, please. Can we do something? There we go, on the right side now. Cross it. Please, no? Okay. What are you doing with the ball? Come on. Oh my god. And the, the goalkeeper uh, retains the ball. Now, Vitor Guimarães is on the attack, but he loses the ball. It is a fall. There we go, there we go, Jovan Cabral with the first goal, let's go. What a fantastic play by Sporting, very quickly, Jovan just opens up the score. And let's see if he can play on that position, because we might find a new striker, who knows. And so guys, half time, we are winning 1-0, and uh, we don't have the best possession in terms, in comparison with Guimarães, but we just have the most uh, shots basically just one shot and yeah we we are winning so let's go into the second half and see what can we do now Nuno Sanchez on the left side to Nuno Mendes to Palhinha Jovan Jovan Cabral with another goal let's go he's on fire right now second goal of the game at the 63 minute there we go it's good to see Jovan scoring some goals and we are already on the 90th minute, Guimarães is attacking but I think he's not going anywhere or it is, oh my god and it is, a goal by Ricardo Quaresma right at the last minute of the game and uh, this was not expected really, the last move of the game was from Guimarães with that goal and we finish off with a 2-1 victory, so we start Liga Nosh with a victory, very good to see that of course, you know Eduardo Quaresma just thanking me you don't need to thank you man, I, I appreciate your performance, very well done. And yeah, you are very happy, that's what I want, so yeah, let's advance into the next game. And here we are guys, it is a game against Santa Clara, now it's at our home. And don't forget that we have the objective of winning 12 games in home, in the league, so yeah, let's see if we can get the first win at home. Look out now, Sporting. Loses the ball in the midfield, now a counter-attack by Santa Clara, need to be careful now. In the cross, but thankfully Fedal just wipes it out, and now a corner for Santa Clara, but we take that out, but it's not over yet. Now it is, come on, counter-attack guys, but it's not doing anything right now. Now Santa Clara on the, with some space now, look out for him, but they cannot do nothing still, and the... We recover the ball, now counter-attack, come on, Sporar is doing alone, it passes, Pedro Gonçalves, Sporar and a great save by the keeper, who gives a corner to us. Now Nuno Sanchez, what can he do? Passes, passing around the penalty box, but he's not doing anything right now, and it is an offside. Look out now Santa Clara and there we go, 1-0 to Santa Clara, Costinha at the 45 minutes, right at the half time. He just scores and there we go. So I'm going to make the chance once again, I'm going to put Giovanni Cabral because last time we played very well with him at the front, so why not just try to do the same thing. And uh, put him on the center forward position with... Uh, Pedro Gonçalves on the camp position, see if he can do something here, and yeah, let's go into the game. But yeah guys, I'm going to jump in I believe, but wait a minute, now Jovan Cabral, Jovan Cabral, there he goes! Once again, he's the goal scorer for us, 
And oh my god, I mean, I'm, I think I just found our striker right here, Jovan Cabral, on a fantastic form. Once again, now here he goes, a pass to João Palhinha. Can he do it? João Palhinha, oh my god, but the keeper defends this time. And now Sporting is very well playing and uh, he's on top of the game right now. Palhinha on the right side, cross it, come on Jovan, Jovan Cabral, oh my god, this guy is amazing, Jovan Cabral, another goal, it is 4 goals in 2 games and we are winning 2-1, we just came back, come on, let's look out Santa Clara now, oh my god, a very dangerous attack by Santa Clara, but Sporting, it seems that he can handle it, let's see, look out, no, 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 and oh my god, what a block and it is a corner now, Come on guys, so I don't want to concede another corner now, 88 minutes and it's going wide, So and it's a penalty, what? Another penalty, oh my god, come on guys, what the hell? Come on Ada, oh my god, I don't know where she goes, and oh my god, I just missed the penalty, so 2-2 two, two for Santa Clara, he just equalized on the 89th minute, this is not good, my god. Let's put on auto attacking and let's go guys, I need to go forward really. And I didn't count with that right now. Maybe we can have our first loss of points right here. But come on Pedro Gonçalves and oh my god. I didn't expect this at all. João Palhinha recovers, Tiago Tomás to Pedro Gonçalves, João Mario. But he doesn't have the speed. Now to Pedro Gonçalves, can we go Pedro Gonçalves, come on, shoots. But he's going to the keeper, oh my god, we are going to draw his... Oh my god, I cannot believe it! Our first loss of points in the league, and it's already on the second game, with a penalty on the last minute, damn it! And so guys, now we have the game against Passos Ferreira, and um, it is a away game once again, and uh, this one I will play, it's going to be the last game of the episode, maybe. And uh, yep, let's go right away into it. I just made a new lineup, a new squad for uh, Cabral to be playing on top. So because he's playing very well th there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to with this static right here just to change uh, spot art to Cabral. And yeah, maybe I'm just not going to play because I'm not feeling confident. So let's just try to simulate at least the first half and see what can we do with Jovan up front. Now a throw in for us on the right side, can we get a cross in? It seems not, but now it is on, oh my god, Pedro Gonçalves does not take that opportunity now. A counter attack from Passos Ferreira, number 11 on the left side, once again just take his time and uh, don't rush, that's fine by me of course, but look out now and Maximiano with a great save. And Massimiliano once again saves the ball, puts it long, but it's going for a an opponent. Now they are on attack, look out. And number 99, and there is the goal. Pass Ferreira on the lead, on the 45 minute once again, damn it. And I believe this is half time, there is right. My god, I'm going to jump in of course, because I'm not happy with this. We need to just turn things around, so... Come on guys, let's go into the game. Pedro Puch, what is that tackle? Come on Fedal, please. Oh my god, really? Really Fedal? Another penalty, damn it. I cannot believe it. Oh my god, this is looking very worse for now. It's looking worse for now, my god. Come on, defend that please. And they missed. Thank god they missed. Because I didn't guess the side. Coates, thank god you can clear. Let's go boys, we need to score. And the bad pass by Fedal, Fedal you're not doing a great game really. And oh my god, what was that? Why am I doing this? I'm so dumb, my god. And guys, like I said, I'm not the best FIFA player by far and world class it's a bit challenging for me really, so... Let's see now. And once again, he misses the... Penalty, so two penalty misses. Oh my god, we are so lucky. We need to take advantage of that. Come on, guys. And so let's change this around and uh, let's use other formations because 
Uh, I want to, to have Sporar in the game right now. Nonsense, you're going out, Sporar is entering. A cam can be good. And Pedro Por, what is that? Now this is much better. Mateus Nunes, two. Pedro Gonçalves, two Sporar, who is alone at the goalkeeper. There we go, Andrea Sporar. Score the equalizer, let's go boys, come on. And a very well designed counter attack and Sporar with very easy just scores in front of the goalkeeper come on now we recover the ball come on can we do it once again the counter attack Mateus Nunes to Sporar is alone once again Sporar can we score Andrea Sporar this is it this is my guy for when I playing it seems Andrea Sporar with two goals making the comeback come true 2-1 for Sporting, let's go! Now this is what I'm talking about, Sporar with a very good clinical shots here, two goals already in the league, it's just in the game as well, let's go! Once again now Pedro Gonçalves to Sporar, he just takes his time, puts in the middle, Pedro Gonçalves to the middle to Mateus Nunes, who has the pace, can he do it? Quick shot, finesse shot and oh my god so close! Mateus Nunes very well done here and yeah guys we are playing on the counter attack basically and we are doing well for so far and here we are on the 90th minute already on the additional time let's just stay with the ball so that doesn't anything more happens because I don't want to suffer another late goal in the game come on Sporar to Mateus Nunes very well just changing the ball now Pedro Porro on the line can we score another can this be Sporar, oh my god, it would have been very good an hat trick here. And now Mateus Nunes with a bad pass, but it's over finally. We got another win. It is away, away game once again, but another win and that's what I like. Let's go Sporting. Yeah guys, I think this is a very good end to finish off the episode with another victory and it seems that Benfica had just lost because they are still with 6 points maybe it was against Braga so oh my god Benfica lost points once again so that is very good to see Porto is still yet to play but we are now on second place 7 points we have the top goal scorer with Cabral with 4 goals so yeah let's go guys it's a very good episode with some, uh, some wins and a draw not that bad Let's see now what we have for the next episode. We have a last match against Portimonense in August. And maybe I will try to speed things up a little bit. And maybe do all the, um, the month of September. So yeah, let's see how this is going to be. But yeah, for now this is it guys. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe. Of course it means a lot. Stay safe and stay tuned for the next episode. Bye bye. <music>